Right, JC, welcome back to YouTube. Today we're going to talk about Hooke's Law. Now, Hooke's Law involves things stretching. All right. Now, Hooke's Law states that the force applied to something with a certain spring constant, this is basically how stretchy it is, is proportional to its extension. So the more force is applied, the more something will stretch. Now, the common experiment you see for this is clamp stand with something like a spring and then some mass on the bottom. All right, now the more mass that is added, obviously the more force there is, so the more it stretches. So extension is one thing to be worried about. Extension doesn't talk about how long something is. If something starts off at this length, so this is a spring here, the extension is how far past its original length it goes. So if this is 10 and this is 10, whatever is here, let's say if this is total 15, the extension would be 5 right here. Now, the graph is what you're going to need to interpret. So you're going to have an ex a graph, maybe look something like this, and we'll have force measured in newtons, and then we'll have extension measured in probably millimetres because it's more precise. Now, this graph is directly proportional up to about here I would say. Directly proportional means that it's a straight line through the origin. After the limit of proportionality, the gradient, that's the slope, is no longer constant and the line is no longer a straight line through the origin. So this is Hooke's Law.